uh, two on one position control to set up your takedowns and maintain your standing position. So what is a two on one? I just have two hands on one and it could be any way, right? I could have two hands on the wrist, I could have one hand on the elbow and the wrist, or I could have both arms coming around from the backside. We're gonna start basic and just work our way up. First one, my, my hands are together and I'm just gonna control the wrist here. Two, I'm gonna let go of my arm that's closer to his elbow and I'm gonna wrap it around. Three, I'm gonna change my wrist position. So now my thumb is up and my palm is up. And then four, I'm gonna lock my hands together. I can either grab my wrist over the top, some people like to thread it through uh, and lock it in here. The important thing with the two-on-one is that I'm able to push and pull my partner. When I have this two-on-one, I can pull them down, right? If they start to pull back, I can push into them, right? Same thing from here. I can pull them down. If you start to pull back, push them back up, and down, two, push up, and down, and three. And now we're only thinking about where our hands are. But it's always important whenever we're talking about hand fighting, which is what we're doing, we're battling for position with our hands, that I think about where my head is. If I'm in this two-on-one position and Kyle has a head position on me, uh, even though I have some of the control of, of his arms and shoulder, he also has control of our head position. Ideally, I'm gonna be able to maintain my head position with my arm position. And that's true for all cases. So, Let's take it to the next level with our hand control and our head control. So one, two, three, four. It's really important when we're working our two-on-one that we're conscious of what our hands are doing, but also our head. 